In this video, we're going to look at solving problems by setting up simultaneous equations for them and solving. I'm going to go through the same problem twice. First, without using much algebraic notation, and secondly, using lots of algebraic notation. And you can decide for yourself which you prefer. Here's the question. Five pens and 12 rulers cost £4.20. Eight pens and two rulers cost £5. Using that information, we have to work out the cost of a single pen, the cost of a single ruler, and the cost of three pens and two rulers. Now, if we know the cost of a single pen and a single ruler, doing part C will be easy. But how do we get these costs first? Well, one problem we have is that it's difficult to compare these two lines because we've got different numbers of pens and different numbers of rulers. However, what I can do is realise that if eight pens and two rulers cost five pounds, then 48 pens and 12 rulers must cost 30 pounds. How do I know this? Well, all I'm doing is buying six lots of this. Six lots of eight pens and two rulers is 48 pens and 12 rulers. And that's going to cost me six lots of five pounds, which is 30 pounds. Now, why have I chosen to think about the cost of six lots of this? Well, now the number of rulers I'm thinking of matches what I've got in this first line. So if we compare this to the first line, let's see what happens. I'm just going to write the first line down here so it's easy to compare in line. Let's look at these two lines of information then. In this line, we're paying £30, whereas in this line, we're paying £4.20. So in the first line, we're paying £25.80 more. What do we get for the extra £25.80? We don't get any extra rulers. We get 12 rulers in both cases. But what we get is lots of extra pens. We get 48 instead of 5. So that's 43 extra pens. So that means the 43 pens must be worth £25.80. And that means we can now work out the cost of one pen. Dividing by 43, I see that one pen costs £25.80 divided by 43. Now, if I put that in my calculator, I get 0 0.6. But because this is money, I need two decimal places. So what we've really got is £0.60, pence, which I write like this. So we've got our answer. That's the cost of a single pen. We can now use this to work out the cost of a ruler. Let's look at this line here. If each pen is 60p, eight pens is going to cost eight lots of 60p. And eight lots of 60p is 480 pence or four pounds 80. Now, if that costs four pounds 80 and the total for all of this is five pounds, then the two rulers must cost 20 pence. So if two rulers cost 20 pence, hopefully you can see that each ruler costs 10 pence. And there is our answer. Now we know the cost of a single pen and a single ruler. We can work out the cost of three pens and two rulers quite easily. Three pens is going to cost three lots of 60p. And two rulers is going to cost two lots of 10p. And if we work that out, we get three lots of 60p, which is £1.80. And then we need to add two lots of 10p, which is 20 pence. And when we add those together, we get £2. And there's our answer. Now I'm going to do the same problem again, but using algebraic notation. To start with, we're looking for the cost of a single pen and a single ruler. To start with, we don't know what they are. So I'm going to say one pen costs X pounds. And one ruler costs Y pounds. Now, what I can do is turn these sentences into equations. If one pen costs X pounds, 
five pens is going to cost five lots of that, which is five X pounds. Now I'm just going to leave out the pound sign from now on just to make life easier. 12 rulers is going to cost 12 lots of Y pounds. So that's 12 Y. And the cost of those put together is 5X plus 12Y. And we know that that must be £4.20. So I've turned that first sentence into an equation. Doing the same thing with the second sentence, I get 8X plus 2Y equals 5. Now, looking at these equations, it seems easiest to eliminate the y's. What I can do is multiply the second equation through by 6. That's going to give me 48x plus 12y equals 30. I'm just going to rewrite the first equation underneath this one. So that gives me 5x plus 12y equals 4.2. And now I can subtract the second equation off the first, and that will give me 43x equals 25.8. Dividing the left and the right hand side by 43, I get x equals 0 0.6. So that tells me a pen costs 0 0.6 of a pound or 60p. So we get the same answer as before. To find the cost of a ruler, y pounds, we can substitute this x value into any of the previous equations. I'm going to pick this one because it seems easiest to work with. If x is 0 0.6, then 8x is going to be 8 lots of 0 0.6, which is 4.8. So that's 4.8 plus 2y equals 5. We can subtract the 4.8 from the left and the right hand sides and that will leave me with 2y equals 0 0.2 which means y equals 0 0.1. So one ruler costs 0 0.1 pounds or basically 10 pence. We would then answer part C in exactly the same way as we did before. So I won't go through this explanation again.